So if all there was was Jupiter and Io, then Io would not look like that. Io's extreme activity should have killed off the tides that create its internal heat. So there must be something else beyond the squeezing of the moon, keeping its fires alive. Io is not alone in orbit around Jupiter. It's one of the four big moons known as the Galilean satellites. And Io orbits in what's called an orbital resonance with two of them, Europa and Ganymede. So here's Jupiter. And for every four orbits of Io, Europa goes around twice, and Ganymede goes around exactly once. That means on every fourth orbit, the moons line up, and they give a gravitational kick to Io. They put energy into the orbit, which keeps the orbit elliptical. And so, whereas here on Earth, the volcanoes are driven by the primordial heat down at the Earth's core, Io's volcanoes ultimately are driven by gravity. This bizarre volcanic moon, locked in a seemingly endless cycle of eruptions by its sister moons, is the furthest world from the sun where we've seen molten rock erupting onto the surface. 